to the bird of passion. It is time to capture our stand in the scheme of things in local, state, and federal government. Now is the time to register our structure, to make our connections, and to utilize our brotherhoodness. To achieve anything, I mean anything, at all that is deemed achievable, we shall register ourselves in every nook and cranny of the government, economic, political, business, and social life. Indeed, we have come of age. We shall grab every grabable and eventually get to the top one day. We shall make every prestigious office enterable to our own by working now to get a good share of every bit. Let's rise to the call, fellow apostles. Let's go even for the highest office in this country. Our fraternity stipulates one for it, all for it. One for it, all for it. We must always remember it. It keeps working. It worked for us during my time of struggle. It worked for us during my time of struggle for the post of secretary to the government of the Federation. This fraternity has all it takes. I don't see why we cannot eventually be the cock that crows in any aspect of our national life. One must be mindful that this is our mission and it must be accomplished. The hope shall be Fellow Apostles, and the brotherhood of the hawk. It is concession time. The hawk shall be. And we shall be forever. Fellow apostles of the brotherhood of the hawk. Chief apostle of the hawk. I wish to seek concession of this brotherhood on my recent ambition to claim the seat and office of the Chief Justice of the Federation. The hall shall be.
Ah, now tell me, now what could have kept my wife from coming to give me a welcome home kiss at the airport? You know why, Dad. <laughs> well, I trust her. Now tell me, how's everything at home? Very, very lonely. And Daddy, we've been dying to have you back. Oh, oh, my dear girl. I am back. I am back. I missed you all. I missed you too, Daddy. Oh, oh. I missed you so much. Oh, my dear. I am back. your trip oh wonderful oh absolutely wonderful <laughs> uh, how are you people up there at the villa well 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 our problem is you people <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite frankly uh, mr. president had been continually bothered over the issue of travesty of justice within the judiciary yes Yes, it really calls for that. What's the latest? Well, if you are referring to the Femi Babalola issue, suddenly the way he did present his case, he sure had a point to prove. Although Shegu did not openly accept having uh, accepted bribe, but what I did read in the papers, there was this portion where he did say that uh, Femi's accusations were unfounded and frivolous. Uh, but you see, something sets me thinking, and that is that um, he did not offer explanations as to why he suddenly halted proceedings in a case whose parameters were yet to be clearly defined. Mm. Mm. I didn't know that uh, Shagun could be so materialistic. Well, it only goes to show the extent to which honorable members of the bench could go. Well, if you ask me, I would say that um, a George, a credible one that can guarantee mature and fair hearing, that was what that case needed. Well, I, I, I believe we have few colleagues who could do that. Oh, certainly. But one could still refer to this as a very sensitive one. Mm. Uh, Osakwe, tell me, have you heard that you're a nominee? Look at 
I'm looking at. Frank, is this one of your pranks? No, 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 no. On the contrary, it might interest you to know that uh, Mr. President himself submitted your name to us. Good God. While Sekibo did that of Lucas. Whatever I can do to uphold the cause of justice, I shall do it. Very good. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Why not? No. <laughs> uh. Sir, Costa, uh, you have to go to the waiting and bring the uh, detained the justice chief with us. Yes, sir. Uh, Remember, you have only 10 minutes to stay with him. Um, yes, I know. Um, Chief. Well, I... I've come to tell you of some positive and favorable indications so far. Um, Justice Robert Osakwe has been assigned to try your case. And uh, I suggest you call him now have a chat with him so that we can begin to sample his mind. <laughs> there is nothing positive and favorable in that. No robot will even send his wife to jail if, if, it, is, if it comes to be the truth. Robot does not compromise anything when it comes to justice. Say so. Yes, just uh, there's no harm in trial. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, Robert Osakwe here. Who's speaking? Ah, uh, Robert. This is Shego. Speaking from the Central Police Station. Oh, Shegun, how? Oh, how are you? Well, uh, definitely not fine. It's a pity, my brother. A real pity. But, uh, but how, how are you in, uh, in totality? Well, I still can't say fine. Uh, how was your holiday? Oh, my holiday was fine. Oh, it was fine. It was just fine. Now, uh, tell me, Shegun, what really happened? Well, uh, you know that I have a limited time to talk. Uh, why don't you try to pay me a visit here so that uh, we can talk it over? Sir, your time is up. Uh, y yes, I, I know, but just spell some seconds. Well, I guess you heard me. Y yes, I did. But Shegun, I can't. It will not be proper now that I have been officially assigned to handle your case. I hope you don't misunderstand. Oh, I, I, I understand. Oh, Shagu. God bless you. Yes. Bye bye. I'm so glad to be in Nigeria again to a long time ago. <laughs> now look at all the way, girl. Yeah? 
Yeah, I know. Good to see my mom. We've talked a lot about them. We've talked a lot about them, so I know the outside of people to deal with. You know. Look at everywhere in Nigeria have changed, baby. Hmm? Everywhere has changed. So much. We got beautiful roads now. I know. <laughs> beautiful houses. Do you know one thing, baby? Do you know my dad will be surprised to see me? Mm -hmm. Just like mine too. For real, because they don't know that I'm coming back. I didn't Nobody... tell him I was coming back. Oh, you didn't tell yours? Well, I guess that's the reason why nobody came to meet us at the airport. Very big surprise. Very big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, to be honest with you, I was trying my daddy on my line. I couldn't catch him, so I said, wow, I can take hand of things. Look at that, look at that. What's that? <laughs> the bike guy. Hey, look at that man. It's great. All right. You know one thing now, baby. I can really wait. I can really wait to meet your parents. You know? So I think to them, you know, pay your bride price and boom, I'm back. You know, I have to really go take care of the Saudi project, you know. Uh, yeah, you see. Real. I have to run, I have to run along, baby. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. I'm just happy we're back, you know. Happy you know too. what's gonna happen, baby? We'll go straight to your house, you know. Yeah. Drop you off, and the cab will take me down to my house, okay? Oh, stop it! <laughs> Here, my friend Collins Olushegun. Collins meet my parents, Justice and Mrs. A. O. Osokwe. Oh. Good evening, sir. Uh, pleased to meet you, young man. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, sir. Um, Edna here told me a lot about you, and um, I'm delighted to be here, sir. Oh, that's good, that's good to know. <laughs> How about something to drink and perhaps food as well? Oh, that would have been very, very nice, uh, but um, as you can see, I'm just coming back from the state and uh, I really need to see my people, you know, uh, probably come back tomorrow for all that, but that's okay by you, sir. Yeah, yeah just fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mommy, daddy, uh, let me see him off. Okay. Okay, so I'll kiss him all the time.
double count this time. I have no choice at all. This is blackmail by someone who knew the impossibility in the issue of a member of the bench inducting another for any reason whatsoever. Besides, uh, Shagun is like a brother to everyone on the bench. How much more yourself? You see, it is a difficult situation mm. indeed. Yeah, well, I... Just pray that God will continue to guide me. Amen. Let's not forget, congratulations on your nomination for the office of the CJ, Chief Justice. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Just a suggestion. Yes. Well, it's nice to see how happy it makes you who are my friends. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations! Thank you. Um, registrar, call the suit. Suit number F H A slash A B J slash C S. Slash 165 slash 2001. The Nigeria Police Plaintiff versus Mr. Justice Olusegun Amosu, Defendant. Charges 1. Demanding an accepting of bribe. 2. Unconstitutional dismissal of a case brought for due trial and judgment before this honorable court. Presided over by the defendant. Pleading guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Counsel for the defendant, straighten your client's plea. Uh, thank you, my lord. My Lord Justice, other members of the bench present, my colleague, counsel to the complainants and senior advocate of Nigeria, my colleagues, the distinguished members of the bar, honorable members of the public, ladies and gentlemen present, in this court. With due regards to the constitutional powers of this honorable court, I do solemnly present this preliminary objection against the suit number FHS slash ABJ slash CS slash 165 slash 2001. Filed against my client, Mr. Olushogun Amosu, M O N, 
by the Nigerian Police Force, NPF, on, counts, on count charges of bribery and unconstitutional dismissal of case number FHR slash ABJ slash CS slash 165 slash 2001 brought before the Honorable Court of my client and defendant on the 12th of January 2001 by the same Nigerian Police Force against two members of the Imo State Executive Council on count charges of alleged murder of the late Commissioner of Police Badwin Bandot in his residence in Owere on the 4th of January the same year on grounds of its lack of merit and constitutional asylum that can grant this honorable court the local standing to try the suit before it. In details, I wish to bring to the notice of this honorable court that it lies within the powers of the Federal Court of Appeal vis-a-vis -vis the Supreme Court of the Federation to rehear an already heard case or suit, and that no other court of lower jurisdiction than that of the Court of Appeal or the Supreme Court of the Federation of Nigeria is given the constitutional backup to rehear an already decided suit. Consequently, therefore, any such illegal hearing of such cases is contravenous to Section 27, Subsection 4A of the 1999 Constitution. Meanwhile, this act of wanton violation of legal process by the complainants is a breach to the Judicial Code of Conduct, Section 4, Paragraph 18, which states that a judge cannot be sued for his comprehensive fair judgment of a case, but can only consent to the retrial of any such case in a court of higher jurisdiction. To this end, therefore, I pray this honorable court to strike out the suit for lack of merit and constitutional antecedents. Secondly, I implore the constitutional powers of this court to grant my client bail, since this can be understood as to being non-conforming, non-legitimate, and non-consenting to the convergence of the law. Again, I seek the immediate arrest and prosecution of all police officers who were involved in the inhuman treatment meted out to my client in the prison, which is a total violation of his statutory human right and rights as a senior citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you, my lord. Counsel to the complainants, do you have any objections to the pleas of the defendant? Uh, yes, my lord. My lord, first and foremost, I would like to educate the ignorant minds of the defendant that the institutionalization of this suit is not based on whether it is fair or not, but on the grounds that even if it was fair, he demanded for and collected a bribe, which my learned colleague failed to point out as a crime against the law and has constitutional punishments attached to it under Section 8, Subsection 19 of the Criminal Code. Secondly, I will quote part of my colleague's write-up, which calls suit number FHA slash ABJ slash CS slash 165 slash 2001 an already decided suit. Well, to that end, my lord, I pray this honorable court to take a look at the closing statement of the defendant on the purported judgment day. Mm. 
Now, my Lord, I would want your Lordship to use your outstanding knowledge of the law and your finesse in the act of interpreting the law to interpret if those statements were a judgment or a mere decision born out of prejudice and venality. So I contain the fact that the case is not an already decided case, as in the words of counsel to the defendant. Coming to the quotation from the Judicial Code of Conduct, I would like to bring to the unknowing notice of my learned colleague that such a charade as contained in the statements passed out to my Lord does not resemble any comprehensive fair judgment, nor does it qualify as one. So I advise my learned colleague, Mr. Udenze, please go and prepare your case to defend your client on the charges of bribery brought against him on his plea for the arrest and prosecution of the police officers who were doing their lawful job. I see that more as a reason than a point. Because you have to first of all prove that your client is innocent of the charges of bribery leveled against him instead of taunting my clients for doing a lawful and commendable job of interrogating a common criminal. Interrogating? Yes, of course. Uh, did you call it interrogation? Of a common criminal, yes. Enough of that, gentlemen. Enough. Yes, my lord. Sir. Yes, my lord. Ah, uh, Chief Babalala. Please, carry on. Uh, that'll be all for now, my lord. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. <clears throat> well, this honorable court is granting defendant a reprimand on bail for the rest of the hearing of this suit. Mr. Udenze, Lord. I advise you to go and prepare your case. This honorable court has every constitutional right to try this case, and you know that. Yes, my Lord. This court will adjourn for further hearing on, on until the 27th of next month. I repeat, this honorable court will adjourn this case for further hearing until the 27th of next month. The court shall rise. Court! There is something you've been keeping from us ever since you came back. I have never seen you this happy. So, can we... Can you let us into this excitement? <laughs> Mommy. Daddy. I was waiting for the right time to tell you. I found someone I want to marry. Oh, my daughter, <laughs> that's a wonderful news. And uh, who is this lucky man? Colin's dad. The man I came back with from the US. He'll be coming with his people to see you. Mm. <laughs> really? And um, what does he do? Daddy, he's an engineer. I mean, he's an aeronautic engineer. In fact, he just got a three-year contract from a, a Saudi Arabian billionaire to maintain his private jets. Mm. And I'll be joining him later. Daddy, he loves me so much. I mean, he can't wait to get married to me. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Mommy. And uh, who are his parents? Hmm. Daddy, both parents are dead. Yeah. And he was raised by 
by his father's younger brother, your friend and colleague. And um, who is this uh, colleague of mine who is to become my uh, in-law? Daddy, he is um, Uncle Shegun Amosu. That's 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 oh. good. That's good. Sister, I'm so happy for you. You can say that again. Sister, come, I have something just for you. Excuse me, Excuse me, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> what is wrong? This cannot be happening. I don't understand. Trouble ahead. My dear, trouble ahead. Hello? Hello? Ah, it's Chief Online. Ah, good afternoon, CJ. Good afternoon. It is seven days now I handed over that case file to you. What are your plans? Well, I'm trying to work out something before... Things like what? <clears throat> now listing Justice Robert Osakwe. <clears throat> if you don't want any trouble at all, then commence hearing on that case on or before Monday next week. Is that clear? Um... Um, yes, yes, CJ. Good. This is the lady I told you about, um, Chief Fosakwe's daughter, baby. Good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon, good afternoon, my dear. No, good afternoon. Good afternoon. God, I thank you. Good thing is about to happen to this family. <laughs> you are welcome, my dear. Thank you. Please sit down. My son had uh, informed me about you and I am indeed very, very happy. I will make arrangements shortly for members of my family to come and visit your family so that this relationship of yours can be permanently cemented. Oh. Oh. Very good, sir. <laughs> that would be wonderful, sir. That would be wonderful, Dad. That's great. How is your father anyway? He's fine, sir. Good. Say me well to him. Son, why don't you invite your pretty lady and offer her a drink? Oh, um, I think I will. Let me take her to my son. Excuse me. Well, our dear host, forgive me if I'm not being very formal. We all know the tradition. Unfortunately, I cannot lay claim as a consider of it. So you can excuse my naivety. <laughs> uh, first of all, I want to, on behalf of my entire family, thank you, my great friend, and your family for what you have done, for the love that you have shown since my predicament. You have really shown that you are a friend indeed. Secondly, we are here in respect of what will be a landmark in our relationship. Uh, our 
our children met themselves in America. And they have decided to consolidate their relationship with marriage. We are here, therefore, to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. I thank you. <clears throat> Our members of the Yamusu family, I greet you all. Um, I would like to say a few, few words. Um, uh, what happened in court in respect of my friend's case is what any other judge would have done. It is mere realization of his fundamental human right. Well, if the, God, the court finds that his freedom jeopardizes the course of justice, then that freedom will be withdrawn, which I will not hesitate to do, friend or not. Secondly, in respect of the solemnization between my daughter and your son, I regret to tell you that my family will not encourage or discuss this issue until the trial is over. But, what has my case in your cart got to do with the ambition of these innocent children? I'm sorry. I have spoken. <laughs> there will be no meeting between the two families on this issue until after the trial. Daddy trying to do? Does he want to discourage my suit or what? Relax, my daughter. Eh? Your daddy wants the best for you. I think so, mommy. Daddy should draw a line between his profession and my affair. I love Collins. Else I'll pack my things, go back to the US and marry him. Ah, no, Edna, you can't do that. Eh? You know it's against the tradition. You cannot marry without the blessing of your parents. Your mother is right, Edna. You must not be blindfolded by your relationship to his son. And I will not be influenced by such sentiments. Daddy, you call my feelings sentiments? Mommy, mommy. It's all right. It's okay. Everything mommy. is fine. Don't stop calling me. Eh? I know your dad is a little bit tense for me. Eh? Mommy. It's okay. It's okay. I think he's sleeping at the start. No, I don't think so. An accused can be granted a bear if there's no pressing reason to remind him in prison. Let me tell you, don't accept such a cheap mistake from Osakwe. He's a genius. Indeed, that's a fact. If you can easily sentence a fellow judge to, an, uh, to a long term of imprisonment, we shall see. Osakwe will be the last man to give a damn. It's only that I know he has other internal relationship with Wamusu that makes me feel he find it hard. This is actually a good trap for him. If fellow Benjamin could see the same as we do, it is a fight with all rise and stage against him. He was the main head against our intended 50% increase in institutionalization fee. The ears of chief against his carcass are numerous. The hawk shall be, and we shall live forever. You see, both the judge and his client knew they had no grounds at all. The case is a straightforward one. With those things in court tomorrow, it's as good as a finished one. Yes, even the aide that made these things available to me. He says he was ready to testify before the Honorable Court tomorrow. Good, good. I think he has some grudges against the men involved in the murder crime. 
good. So what you will do is keep him in close contact in case we need him to testify before the court. By tomorrow, I'll start giving it to them plain. Did you say this one is for what? That was when Justice Amosin was persuading me in his office to pass off the case. I see. Okay. We have to know what the contents are before we go out to court. Mr. Desmond, it is as if you have not started. The judiciary is not the best place to keep one's probity if you really want to make it. Accept and get your hands off that case and collect your money. The person involved in this case is, is someone who could bribe his way up to the Chief Justice. So stop wasting your energy. Stop wasting your energy on a case. Okay, I think I've heard enough. Well, let's go and crush this matter. Order! Uh, <clears throat> This honorable court shall grant the request of the prosecution counsel to cross-examine the defendant. Thank you so much, my lord. Justice Amosu. By your knowledge of the law and its interpretation, Is judgment supposed to be based on the findings of a court of law or not? It is based on the court's um, proceedings. Good. Did your judgment follow suit? My judgment has... Uh... Yes or no? Every right to, to my private uh, opinion. Please don't shy away from the question. Answer yes or no. My Lord, Lord, all these questions are presumptuous. Dear learned counsel, we do not appear in a court of law to respect any personality. Anybody who thinks it should be respected should first of all be law abiding. My lord, can he please answer my question? Um, answer yes or no. Yes. Yes? Then how come you told Mr. Desmond Fashano, the lawyer in charge of the prosecution of the case, to take a bribe and hands off the case? Because judgment would not depend on the findings of the court. How come? Can you prove that? If you wish. But I want you to know that I am not under any obligations to answer your question. You should be able to differentiate between yourself as an honorable member of the bench and yourself as a criminal. Oh, the Lord. Uh, that, that will not be accepted at all. Uh, my client here deserves an unreserved apology from Chief Babalola for calling him a criminal even when the case is still being tried. For time's sake, do accept my apology, sir. Chief Babalola. My lord. Please respect the personality of individual until proven guilty of a crime. Yes, my lord. May I go on with the cross-examination? Just one or two. Thank you, my lord. Justice Amosu, 
Is it right for a judge to act in two phases in one particular case? Say as a judge and secondly as a private defense counsel? Is it right? No. Thank you very much. That will be all for now, my lord. Would you like to read a direct reply? Uh, no, my lord. Um, then bring in the client for cross-examination. Yes, my lord. What is your name? My name is Sergeant Vicente Nad. Are you a Christian Muslim or a pagan? I'm a Christian. Then hold the Bible and repeat after me. I solemnly swear. I'm solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall give in this honorable court. That the evidence I shall give in this honorable court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. You represent the Nigeria police? Yes, my lord. Your witness. Thank you, my lord. Um, officer. Sir. Do you know that man in the other box? Yes. You know him as what? I only know him as a suspect for charges of bribery. Suspect? Yes. Do you have any proof? My proof is with our lawyer. And uh, where are they? They are here, my lord. Exhibit A and this as Exhibit B. Mr. Udenze, do you have any observations about this um, exhibit? Um, Lord, that's nothing relevant for now. Mm. Well, I think we'll go for recreation until the 3rd of February. The case is adjourned. Lord, this court will rise. Stop! Chief, what could be really be the content of those steps? for Mr. Fashionu to have taped our discussion because I'm very, very sure he never knew why. What we were going to discuss. Whew. Well, I think it's at this point in time that uh, Justice Osakwe could help us if he wants. I, I don't understand you. You see, Chief, it is obvious those steps are not empty. There is something more to it than we think. So, you could approach Justice Osakwe. He knows how best to retrieve those exhibits so that they don't ever appear in court again. That's what I'm saying. That would be the most absurd proposition one I could give Bob because he will never accept it. You don't even know him. 
but he's your friend. And you are in law to be. But you could go to the wife. Because I'm afraid we could be left with no games in our hands if those debts are allowed to play in court. Downstairs. Speak with me? Yeah. Uh, why can't I talk, uh, speak with him here? Why do I have to go downstairs to, to, to speak with him? Chief, you don't understand. He is downstairs in the sitting room. He wants to see you. Downstairs? Yes, downstairs. At this time? I was not sleeping. Now, Shagun, tell me, what is it that has brought you here at this ungodly hour? Please tell me so that I can help you. What if anyone had seen you come in here? Can you imagine how suspicious it would look? No, I don't like this kind of visit at all. I don't. I don't. This kind of thing is what should have been arranged in a hotel room, not in my house. Now you are a colleague. You know what I mean. Robert, I do. But please, it was because of the quest to keep this thing secret that I've come at this time of hour. Now, Shagun, what can I do for you? Well, I, I am the cock on your right hand. And those exhibits have become knife on your left hand. But I beg of you, please, Robert, please help me. Something like what? Well, if you can. I mean, I can afford anything that would make those, make you get those tips vanish and for them not to appear in the court. Hmm. Well, I am glad you said if I could. I am sorry, Shegun, I cannot do anything like that. No. I will do anything for you to make sure that what you get is justice. 
If you tell me that your lawyer is not up to the task, I will spend my own money to make sure I get you a good lawyer. But to come here and look me in the eye and ask me to help you make the court's exhibits vanish. Oh, Shaggy. Oh. Oh. You make me believe that everything you have been accused of is correct. And if that is so, why don't you save the court's time, my time, and change your plea from not guilty to guilty and stop all these embarrassing visits? incompetent I will make sure I get you a good lawyer well I'll have to be on my way I I had thought that because of the children we could work things out but uh, it was a mistake. say there is added taste to any wine when it is shared, my friends. As it is always in sharing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chief, first of all, I will want you to appreciate the fact that the three of us have two plain things in common. One, we are distinguished members of the bench. Two, we are from the same part of the country. And so as so also our main aim of coming, that is Shegu Amosu Ume. I know how difficult it is to be on compromising truth for favoritism. As well, I know it's a mark of manhood, chief. Do anything to save Shegu, please. My brothers, after all the detailed explanation I gave to Shegu the last time, he still thought he should send you to me. Well, my brothers, what do you think I can do to help Shegu, putting aside um, ethnic or professional considerations? Uh -huh. How, how do you feel I can help Shegu? Uh, Chief, you have to exonerate Shegu at all costs. By virtue of your membership of the Order of the Niger, you owe him that. Please, see that he has no point to prove to the court. So what do I do? Halt proceedings and deliver judgment? Oh no, Chief, wait! No, I will not wait. I have been waiting, hoping that I will get some sensible Chief. thing from you. But I haven't. Chief! Gentlemen, I am otherwise engaged. When you finish, you can go. Oh, Chief. What do you expect me to do? Do I have to stop you from going? Anyway, maybe we'll share the love.
Shagun. I think I have warned you never to come to my house for whatsoever reason. Yes, but there is something I want you to understand now. Do you remember that we have another hearing on your case this morning? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But then why? Why do you continue to complicate my objectivity? I'm sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. Chief, now I, I, I see that it is a sin granting you bail. Move this car. If you don't have a dream, now how you gonna make a dream come true? To succeed, it's not a joke, it will cost you too. So be wise, listen to your conscience, it's the key to real success. You should have a dream. must fulfill the role you play in this very life you will win if only you will strive to make it right it is true you got to set the record straight it's not enough to be a leader question is are you leading me right i 